honored guest students and our guest speaker Shadia Sachadina to the spring induction ceremony for the Beta Theta Sigma chapter of Phi Theta Kappa. My name is Caitlin Guttner and I'm the president of the Beta Theta Sigma chapter and I want to thank you all for joining us as we induct the newest students of our chapter. I want to commemorate all of our inductees for the work you've put into your academics up until this point. I know that this year has not been easy for any of us, especially for students who have high expectations for themselves. Trying to balance that with also being an employee, friend, sibling, or just a community member brings the challenge to a new level. But you all have completed that challenge as you are here today, being inducted into the Beta Theta Sigma chapter of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. For over a hundred years, Phi Theta Kappa has been recognizing honors for students and have achieved academic excellence as you are to be congratulated and commended for all your hard work towards your academic success. Phi Theta Kappa has been recognized as the official honor society for two-year colleges, with over 2.5 million members and 1,250 chapters worldwide. This esteemed International Honor Society awards over $39 million in scholarships exclusively for Phi Theta Kappa members. Over the course of this academic year, our chapter has been awarded various honors on the individual, state, and national level, as you can see here. Now it is my pleasure to welcome the advisor of our chapter, Christy Graziano. Hello, friends and family. My name is Christy Graziano, and I am the advisor for FIT's chapter, and I want to thank you for joining us tonight to support our Phi Theta Kappa students. In order to be eligible for this honor society, students must maintain a 3.5 GPA or higher, which at a school as competitive as FIT is not an easy feat. Many of our honor students take more than 15 credits a semester, are involved in extracurriculars on campus, work various jobs or internships, and these amazing students still manage to make academic excellence a priority. I am constantly amazed by how smart, talented, and driven our honor students are, and it is my pleasure to work with them each year. And what a different year it was. I wanna say a special thank you and shout out to my student officer team. While taking classes remotely, these students still wish to engage as leaders in the community. They were interviewed, trained, and introduced to myself and each other completely online, and believe it or not, a year later have still never met in person. But despite the challenges, I am blown away by their achievements this year. They were ranked as a five-star chapter for the fourth year in a row, and our officers won numerous awards at both the regional and national level. They were selected for the most distinguished project award at the New York Regional and National Conferences for their Honors in Action Research Project, were named second runner-up for Most Distinguished Officer Team Award, and third runner-up for Most Distinguished Chapter Award at the New York Regional Conference. But best of all, they were ranked as a top 100 chapter out of 1,250 chapters across the world. Unbelievable. Join me in giving a round of applause for our 2020-2021 PTK officers. It is my pleasure to work with each and every one of you each week to see how far you've grown over this academic year. And to our new inductees tonight, we are honored to have you there to join this prestigious chapter of PTK. And we hope you will consider getting involved as an officer next year and continue on the path of excellence these officers have paved for you. It is my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker tonight, our Dean of Students, Shadia Sashadina. Hello. I'm excited and happy to be given the opportunity to congratulate you on your induction into FIT's Beta Theta Sigma chapter of the acclaimed and prestigious Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. My name is Shadia Sachidena, and I serve as FIT's Assistant Vice President for Student Success and the Dean of Students. Your induction into Phi Theta Kappa is a sure indication that you have excelled in your academic achievements at FIT and have earned the honor and credentials necessary to become part of its membership. At FIT, Phi Theta Kappa has done some groundbreaking work in terms of developing and implementing initiatives that aim to raise community awareness on issues addressing sustainability, mental health and wellness, and efforts that push for deep, thoughtful, strategic planning towards systemic change. For example, this year, FIT's Phi Theta Kappa chapter conducted research and executed their Honors in Action project titled Supporting Small Sustainable Business and Keeping Inherited Trades Alive. PTK's question explored the idea, can increasing awareness of small sustainable businesses help support and keep inherited trades and craftsmanship alive? Their 13-page research paper included over 10 academic resources and culminated in a social media campaign on Instagram. They set up an entire week of posts on education around sustainability and promoted small business education. 
In addition to this important project, the students presented a college project in a social media campaign for students that focused on mental health and staying calm and organized during a remote semester, something we all need. To do that, they highlighted the support services at FIT, helping people see that services like the Counseling Center, Writing and Speaking Studio, Athletics, etc. were so helpful to students in helping with their stress management. It was no surprise when we learned later that the FIT chapter had won awards at both the national and state level. So, as you can imagine, I am thrilled to know that we are now welcoming a whole new group of inductees into Phi Theta Kappa, because all I think about is the potential and opportunity that all of you have to contribute your service and leadership talents to spreading good and essential work within our community. I am hopeful that I will have the opportunity to meet you all in person in the coming months. But for now, I will simply allow myself to tell you from the very bottom of my heart, congratulations. Welcome to Phi Theta Kappa. Thank you, Shadia. My name is Shelly Shalev, VP of Fundraising. Phi Theta Kappa was founded on four hallmarks, scholarship, leadership, service, and fellowship. Our chapter's dedicated officers and I will now share with you some of the opportunities each hallmark provides. Thank you, Shelly. My name is Claire Lossier, and I'm the Vice President of Scholarship. The scholarship hallmark designates a scholarly focus coordinated by Phi Theta Kappa headquarters. This central theme is called the Honor Study Topic. As an outcome, participants will have personal growth when they apply what they learn in the research. The hallmark means financial support with scholarships. Membership may help you along your academic journey through its multifaceted scholarship programs. Over 700 four-year institutions offer scholarships, some exclusively to Phi Theta Kappa members. The number of scholarships being offered is steadily increasing. In past years, Beta Theta Sigma members have received multiple scholarships towards tuition. While you are here, we encourage you to apply for the Leadership of Promise in the Foundation Scholarship Programs. As members, never give up in your pursuit of the hallmark of scholarship, since it is indeed scholarship that serves as the first and primary society cornerstone. Thank you, Claire. My name is Serena Graziano, and I am the Vice President of Membership of Phi Theta Kappa. As an FIT student, it's often the case you're consumed by projects, jobs, and internships, which leaves little time to search for leadership opportunities. As new members of PTK's Beta Theta Sigma chapter here at FIT, you will have these opportunities easily accessible to you if you're willing to take them. Participating in meetings, doing community service, and even taking on a board position next year will help sharpen your leadership skills. Officers participate in many activities to enhance their leadership abilities. Each year, we participate in the New York Regional Conference and Phi Theta Kappa Catalyst. These activities are not only done to improve yourself, but with the goal of improving the community around us. We encourage you, our Beta Theta Sigma members, to take advantage of these leadership opportunities and make positive changes within and around our campus. Thank you, Serena. Hello everyone, my name is Maggie McGarry and I'm the Vice President of Fellowship and Service. Service is an important part of getting involved with your community. Our chapter's regular service efforts have included showcasing FIT student services, highlighting small sustainable businesses during the pandemic, and featuring virtual service opportunities to our members. Many of you have given yourself to service before becoming involved with Phi Theta Kappa, and we hope you continue to do so in the upcoming semesters. A little bit of your time goes a long way for those in need, improving their lives and the overall good of the community. As a new member, you will meet many people here and beyond the campus at the Fashion News Technology here in New York City. Never underestimate the formidable power of the human connection of fellowship. We challenge you to go forth and use your fellowship, scholarship, leadership, and service that Phi Theta Kappa offers you. Thank you all for sharing what our four hallmarks are all about. Now I am pleased to present these candidates for membership in our society. These students have fulfilled all requirements for membership. All our inductees have maintained and exceeded an outstanding GPA of 3.5 or higher and have completed at least 12 hours of coursework. They have been selected because they have chosen scholarship, leadership, service, and fellowship as their hallmarks. I recommend them for acceptance into the Beta Theta Sigma chapter of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. As candidates about to be initiated into Phi Theta Kappa, it is appropriate that you know certain facts about this National Honor Society. I would like to call upon our VP of Scholarship, Claire Lossier, to introduce our society to you. Thank you, Caitlin. You're about to be inducted into a scholarly fellowship which embraces community colleges not only of your own state, but of the nation and the world. This fellowship is Phi Theta Kappa and our chapter is Beta Theta Sigma. After induction, you will find among the members an atmosphere of scholarship, to which you must give of yourself in order that the organization may be meaningful to you. As new members, you should understand the primary symbols of the society. 
I would like to call Maggie, our VP of Fellowship and Service, to speak about the torch. Behind me, you will see a torch, symbolic of knowledge, which is a servant of wisdom, which dwells with prudence and leads in the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of judgment. I have the white rose, which symbolizes purity and beauty of light, with its white buds signifying a new intellectual association. Behind me, you will see the emblem of Phi Theta Kappa. It consists of a gold slab, keyed at the top and bottom. The golden field, like our coat of arms, refers to the golden opportunities that abound on every hand for society folk to evidence their culture and perform good works. Since gold is the most noble of metals, it shall have a further significance to our society, for it shall represent that nobility is tamed by those who achieve intellectual leadership. Across the slab, you will observe a black band. It represents the three ideals which band us together, and the cultural self-control which is the necessary foundation for true wisdom, aspiration, and purity. Shining through the black enamel background are the three Greek letters, which are the initials of those three mystic Greek words, meaning wisdom, aspiration, and purity. Behind the band is a wreath. One side is composed of oak leaves and the other side is composed of laurel. The oak leaves stand for stability and strength of character. The graceful curling leaves of the laurel signify achievement and success, all attributes for membership in our society. Above the band is a representation of the head of Athena, a symbol of learning. In the base appears the Greek letters, meaning light, the light of knowledge, and learning, the common ideal for membership of Phi Theta Kappa. The badge stands as a symbol for the high idealism of our organization and membership in our select group. You have studied the constitution of our organization, the purpose of which is to foster a spirit of devotion, to study and to scholarly ideals among its members, whose principles are embodied in wisdom, aspiration, and purity. At this time, we will proceed with the induction of our candidates. Membership is not granted until after all candidates have been recognized. Please stay to support your fellow inductees in completing the membership process.
Now that the standards and ideals of this organization have been fully revealed to you, you come to complete the pledge which admits you into complete fellowship. Please repeat after me. I, state your name, do solemnly promise on May 11, 2021, to keep this object and aim in my mind. And I pledge to support my fellow members and promise to aid them in all worthy endeavors to uphold the standards of Phi Theta Kappa. It is my pleasure to welcome you into Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and the lively fellowship of scholars it affords. I salute you for your accomplishments. I charge you to always explore the truth and to dedicate yourselves to the cultivation of the well-reasoned life, a prelude to service and honor. Thank you all once again for being here tonight to celebrate this momentous occasion. On behalf of the executive board and I, we once again congratulate the inductees on their membership into the Beta Theta Sigma chapter of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. To volunteer or participate in our upcoming events, please be on the lookout for emails and events on FIT link. Once again, thank you all and have a great night.